Okay, here's a look at Panther Peak on that Big Bend National Park. It's about 9 a.m. I'm gonna get started and attempt that, and then depending on the weather, possibly point 6282 Wright Mountain and Pummel Peak. But I'm gonna at least try for Panther now. 100% off trail approach here. Okay, I made it to the base of Panther. The vegetation has been very thick. My arms are hacked up pretty good. My legs are fine with the snake pants on. Um, but man, that was probably the thickest veg vegetation I've ever gone through. But anyway, hopefully uh, less vegetation now, just more rocks and a lot more climbing. But I'm gonna head up to the left side of the peak and then you approach the peak from the, um, the east side. There's a more level approach that way. Okay, so time to climb, hopefully just a little bit more vegetation and then not quite as much. Okay, I'm maybe halfway up, probably just a little bit less. Anyway, the summit is up there, so I'm just gonna basically head straight up to the left side of the summit block and then summit from the east side. So it's been a lot better, less vegetation, but it's look, it looks like it's gonna be a little bit more vegetated right here because it's not on a direct ridge so I'm gonna have to fight through that but a little bit higher up it should just be mostly rock which will be nice that's nice there's a little grove of trees right there that grows in the shade so I was coming up solid rock for a while I actually found a wash which was basically solid rock walked up that um, it turned into just vegetation for a while and I had to get out of that. So a little bit of scrambling in the vegetation and then I've been back on solid rock for a little while. So I just came from right over there. Just taking a little break and then I'll just push it up to the summit. So I came from this direction. The road's down there, my car's down there somewhere, hopefully. But, uh... So far the weather looks okay. I should be fine for this one for sure. Then I'll just see what it looks like at the summit and see if I want to push on to the other two. There's Lost Mine Peak. And I'm standing at the top of Panther Peak. That right there is Crown Mountain. Made it up in an hour and 25 minutes, give or take a couple minutes. I started right around 9.01 or something and it was 1026 when I looked at my phone. So that point right there is point 6282. I'm going to try for that next. And then out there is Pummel. And then this lower one down here is Wright Mountain. So I may try for Wright Mountain too, just depending on what the weather looks like once I get over to point 6282. I think I should be okay for that for sure. And there's the employee housing, kind of a town down there basically. And the visitor center and the road that comes in from the north. So it's a little bit more elevation gain if you hike up from that direction. I cheated a little bit and drove a little ways up the Basin Junction Road. So this is the gap where the trees were growing where I was filming below. Anyway, nice views. Weather looks really good so far. And it's cloudier to the south. Seems like it's always that way here. But at least I got this one. Um, yeah, I'll try for 6282 over there and then just kind of see how everything's going from there. Obviously, I did not want to be stuck up here when storms were rolling in. There's not much cover. That's where I started from. Yeah, real tough approach through the vegetation. Um, and there's really no way around it. I'm going to have to go back through all that on the way back. But at least it's a gradual downhill from here. Although there are some up and downs. Um, with all the washes and everything, but I'm 
do what I can. I'm gonna go on to the next point now. Uh, and over there too is Pulliam Peak, kind of in the middle, and then point, I think it's 6905, is the higher one on the left, and then Mount Huffman is down a little bit lower to the left of that. Man, more of a drop than I realized, but it's some kind of the backpack was falling. Some kind of bighorn sheep or something down there. I'm not sure what it is, but definitely has some big horns on it. Okay, I see it there. It's gone now. It's behind the rocks. There it is on that other rock right there. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is, but that's what it looked like a bighorn sheep. No way I'm catching up to him. <laughs> Man, okay, that's where I have to go anyway, so yeah, that looks a lot farther than it looked from the summit. Man, I can still hear him like he's right there. All right. Anyway, uh, as usual, a lot longer than you think it's going to be. And I'm beat already. But I did a little more than I wanted to this morning. Okay, looking back at Panther Peak. So I've descended all the way down to the gap, which was behind here and down maybe about 50 to 100 feet and made it up to this little saddle right here and I just have to kind of skirt this high point and then get to the next gap saddle over there and then straight up to the summit it's really not that much further maybe 300 feet of elevation 400 at the most Okay, there's the summit of Panther Peak, and I made it to the top of point 6282. There's a little summit marker up here, too. People have left with my gloves, drying out a little bit. I'm oh, sweaty. It's getting hotter. Still debating on what I'm going to do next, if I just head down from here back into the canyon, or if I go on the right mountain. So it's 11.18, 11.19 now. Um, I think I left the summit of Panther around 10.33. So that was 45 minutes or so down and up to here. Although Wright Mountain is tempting right now, not really too far away. I think I better pass and just play it safe. Getting hotter and I mean, there are clouds building to the north, so you never know. I mean, something could come up. By the time I get to there, it could be another hour, if not more, and then I still would have to come either all the way back to here or kind of skirt the northern northern uh, slope of this and then work my way back down into the canyon. I'm going to get started back down. That's the best and safest thing to do right now. I'll try for right and pummel some other time. Hopefully with an earlier start too. That is a long way back. Okay, let's keep moving. At least it's downhill. Not looking forward to vegetation though. Had enough of that already today, but hey, this is the price you pay. You wanna climb these peaks, you have to put up with the difficulties associated with them. I basically think I'm pretty close to where I was approaching from, right along the same path. What I did was go through that. I think I went through that little gap right there, I'm pretty sure, or I was off to the left of the other hill right here, but I'm pretty sure I went through the little gap and then just started climbing up where the rocks are right there. Just kept along the ridge and it leveled out a little bit more right here, right in the middle of the shot. So that was a little bit more of a level six. And I think I was filming from there too. And then I just kind of worked my way up and I followed that wash right there, the rock wash. It's pretty, that was pretty nice. And then I lost it for a little bit, regained it a little bit, and then got up to the solid rock up here. Worked my way up to about right below the left edge of the cliff and then went off to the left just a little bit and then right on the side of the cliff and then it was up around the backside. 
I guess the summit is the point in the middle. But yeah, making it back now. Maybe only about 15 more minutes, if not even a little bit less. So it's still nice. Clouds are building a little bit. It looks like further north, way further north, there could be a big thunderstorm. I'll film up that way in a second. That's the Polian Bluff right there. Looks like the top of maybe a thunderhead way far to the north out there. So I don't know, I may do one more little peek here. I may just head back after this. I forgot a change of clothes though, so it's gonna be a seven hour drive back in sweaty clothes, which I'm not looking forward to. So this is what it's like. So some kind of nicer sections like this, which you can make a little bit better progress in then sit down here towards this little golly, this little wash here. It's gonna get thicker and thicker. And basically, you just have to fight through all this dead stuff. I've only fallen twice so far and it was on the way down from 6282. And then just pick your best route up. Trying to stay hands free as much as possible. Now, I haven't seen or heard a snake at all, which is good, but it's a little ways to go. Have to be careful. One more look at Panther Peak, and then further back in the middle, point 6282. So I left there, it was around 11.30 something, I said it just a little while ago. I can't remember right now though. And I just checked my phone, it was 12.56. So about an hour and 20 minutes down, which is really not bad. Oh yeah, there was a reason I got a later start. I did get to the park about 6.15. So keep watching if you want to check that out. Starting to get light here at Big Bend National Park. I'm at the north entrance. I was planning on some of the Chisos Mountains today, but I've been seeing lightning down that way. I'm going to get started with this peak up here at the north entrance called Persimmon Benchmark and just kind of see how things go from there. I think the weather is moving to the south. So there's a look at Persimmon Benchmark there. Probably, I don't know, 800 to 1,000 feet from here, climb elevation. So I've been going up and down a little bit, going through some washes and some vegetation. I have my new pair of snake pants on, which are actually, even if I never see a snake or get bitten by one, they're at least very beneficial in keeping all the thorns and everything else off my legs. My legs feel really good right now. So I'm gonna head up um, just a little bit to the left and see if I can work my way up to the right. And then the high point is the one on the left over there. Okay, down there is where I started from. I just worked my way up through the gap right here. And I think I can see the summit. Doesn't look like it's too much further. So I'm pretty sure the summit is that furthest point up there. Okay, I made it to the summit of Persimmon Benchmark. Just off to the east of the north entrance of the park. Sit so down there is where I started from. It looked further than it actually was. It seemed to make it up here pretty fast. But this is the view from up here. So there's a, there's a big pile of rocks up here. I don't know if there's an official summit marker or not. This is the view looking more south. It looks like it's raining there and it actually looks like it's moving up this way a little bit just from what I last saw. Made my way down and then just kind of been following the wash for the last couple hundred yards. I can't remember what these bushes are called if I ever learned in the first place. It's pretty cool that it's around some kind of fruit or something on it. 
Looks like a combination of a potato and a banana. Oops, there's some more right there. Anyway, almost back. I'm really close to the north entrance now. And I just need to figure out where I'm going to next. I'm gonna head into the park further and just kind of see what the weather looks like and see what I can get done today. Okay, the next point I'm gonna try for is right here, Dagger Mountain. I think the weather actually is moving in this direction, so I may have to cut this short if it does come this way further. It's I felt a few raindrops already. Um, there's the Chisos Mountains out there. So I did see a big lightning strike off to the left of the Chisos uh, about 10 minutes ago. Up here is Dagger Mountain. Basically straight up right around there is the high point, but it's starting to rain more. I, I don't know, I may have to turn around here. I just wanna play it safe. Even this right here looks like it's developing more. Yeah, I think I'm gonna turn around and bring it back just to be safe. Well, it's clearing up over the Chisos Mountains, so I may head over there. And this right here is actually nicer than a trail, even though you're dodging a little bit of vegetation. It's still just really easy, not too many rocks. This is better than most trails right here. So my car is just a little ways up there. Yeah, a few weeks after I did Humphreys Peak, a teenager was struck by lightning and killed up there. And it does happen, and it happens pretty often too. I don't know how often it happens out here, or in the Guadalupe Mountains, places like this way out in the desert, but definitely can happen. What a beautiful place. This really is. Yeah, I'm at home in the desert. I really am. I realize that more and more. This is where I want to be. Man, this is beautiful. That's all I can think of when I come to the desert. It's just how beautiful this is. And yeah, seven hours is a long time, but you know what, this is worth every second of it. Every second of that drive is worth it when you see this. What a beautiful place. So just about seven miles north of the visitor center, I do need to get going. And there are some thunder clouds approaching from the north, northwest. Pretty big. All right, well, hope you enjoyed all this. I am signing off from Big Ben, finally. But I can't wait to come back to my home, or home away from home, just out here in the desert. But yeah, I think God was really, really at his best here.